well friends this is a very important topic that i am going to discuss right now it is called as uh, storage qualifiers auto static extern and register what is this in any interview when you uh, go to programming side uh, be it in c or c++ this question would be certain what is auto what is storage and so extern and register simple they specify how your variable has to be uh, what is the scope of your variable and how the value should be written that's it by default any variable when you uh, define for example int n int p float q something like that they become auto that is why it is called as automatic variable do we need to specify it explicitly not required but specifying it explicitly is a good habit somebody says but i don't normally follow it both has got the same impact with the modern compilers so specifying or not specifying auto will not make any uh, difference huge difference with respect to uh, modern day compilers auto will reinitialize the value and will not retain the value static will retain the value even when the scope is out of it even when the control has been transferred to a different function or out of the current function the value will be retained uh, register and extern i need to teach you with an example so let me put it on a hold for a while so let me take a simple code where i can really explain you about the work of auto now here what i am doing is i am i have typed a very simple code not a great code uh, i have typed a code where when i am typing when i am this code will understand what is my input if it is a character or if it is an upper case letter or is a lower case letter so if it is an upper case letter say between capital a to capital z i need to call the function upper case count the upper case count is here you can see that where i have used auto int counter equal to 0 So now what will happen every time when this input is between a to z which is capital letter upper case letter this count this count should be called i mean this upper case count should be called and then this counter is supposed to increment now what will happen the behavior will be strange here i am typing a now the function will be called counter will be incremented to 1 the moment i come out and press another input say b this counter will be again initialized to 0 this is the default behavior of auto auto will get the value re uh, realigned or reinitialized to the default value which means zero will be assigned again and then it will be one again so when the counter is incremented it will go to one so in spite of me calling the function so many times actually the counter behavior should be uh, one first second two third three likewise it should be incremented but we didn't get that process here happening uh, appropriately because it's the behavior of auto when i keep it as auto the value will go by default initialized to the zero here so uh, let me show you a demo here that will probably let you understand things better gcc hyphen o auto auto dot c dot slash auto so now my input is a you can see that the count is one now my input is b you can still see that the count is one my input is c the count is one so uh, when i give anything else it won't work that's the behavior of the code i am just seeing that my code works only for the upper case uh, letters and then when i give a star it will be out of the execution process so the auto will by default get it reinitialized to its default value of 0 and in spite of calling the function so many times the counter should have reflected 1 2 3 4 the number of times call should have been reflected but it didn't happen so that's the behavior of auto so please understand folks it's how auto works now let's go to static okay sir this is a bug sir no it is not a bug this is the behavior it works now if i change its static all the count will be retained appropriately which means you can see the code here the same code is here i made it just static so what will happen now the value will be retained every time the function uh, upper underscore upper case underscore count is called this value will be retained first time it will be zero second time it will be one third time it will be so wherever you want to retain the value even after you come out you need to go with static so gcc hyphen o static static dot c dot slash stat now i am pressing a it is 1 now i am pressing b it is 2 i am pressing c it is 3 i am pressing small a it won't work i am pressing star it will come out so you can see that now the value is retained this is a very simple point but a very important interview question please remember folks without fail that this is the behavior of static auto is over static is over next one is extern what is extern sir how is it useful it's a very important uh, um, storage qualifier to be understood i have got a file here the file name is exte1.c in this file i have got a function void right here and int main i am calling right here so where do i have write simple i go here inside another file but in the same directory 
I have got the content of the right. But here I use a variable called as count and I made it int extern count. So where is the count available? The count is available here as a global variable. What do you mean to say sir? This count available in file 1 is accessed in file 2. You can see that here extern int count. So this is how extern works. Simple. I have the content available in some other file but I am trying to access it in this file and this is how extern works. Sir, how do I compile it, sir? What will happen when I compile it? It's very simple. I'll have to generate the object file for this. I'll have to generate the object file for this. I'll link them together. And when I run it, it will work fine. See the way I'm doing it. GCC hyphen C EXT one dot C. So object file has been generated for first file. GCC hyphen C EXT two dot C. This is also generated. Now we can see that. We have two object files generated here. So now both of them know each other that they are linked through the extern. Now how do I get the final executable file? GCFNO search in that's my name of the final file. ext one dot o ext two dot o that's it. Now if you see that I have got search in generated here dot slash search in. You can see that count is ten. Output has come here. The count is ten. We are trying to access the content from a different file but in the same directory that can be done through extern. Now what is register sir? It is a very uh, valuable interview question. Uh, what is register? Have you ever used it? No, we will not use it. Uh, actually it's a very rare case where we go with register because this register whatever storage now we are making int a, int b, int c are all not stored in the registers of the processor. Each processor will have some general purpose registers inside. For example, if you take 8051, it has got few general purpose registers inside. 32 general purpose registers are inside. If you take ARM, it has got few general purpose registers inside. 8085, it has got few general purpose registers inside. Whenever we want to store our content into that file, it could be accessed so early and faster. So when we do not have the necessity of making it real fast, we will not go with this method of using register. That's it. Auto static extend register. Everything is covered. This is a very important interview question. Please pay attention to this before you go for the interview. I hope you uh, like the channel content. Uh, if you like, please subscribe. Please uh, refer it to your friends also. Uh, you can also give your feedback in the form of comments. Thank you very much for following my channel. Looking forward to have more content inside. Thank you.